The spine is the central channel that keeps everything working between the brain and virtually everything else. As the stresses of work and personal life build up, a lot of this stress is carried into the back. Now, back bending helps free up tension that accumulates into the back muscles, especially the neck and the shoulders, leaving the practitioner feeling lighter and more relaxed. Yoga has been scientifically proven to increase serotonin levels, which in turn helps lift the mood of the practitioner. Today I'm going to be sharing with you five yoga asanas you can practice that help release stress. The key to all of this is in the breath, but in back bends, the inhale-exhale is paramount for the body and the mind to release. Okay, let's get started. Coming into Ardha Chakrasana, standing half wheel. Start with your feet about hip distance apart, hands to the thighs. Inhale, arms come up, slight back bend. Exhale, forward fold, head between the knees, arms continue on behind you. Inhale, bring the arms next to the ears, rise, inhale. Exhale, forward fold, head between the knees. Inhale, arms come back up, look towards the ceiling. Exhale, forward fold. Do this about 10 times. This is great for waking up the entire body, getting into a feeling of letting go, of surrender through each and every cycle. Moving on to Ustrasana, camel pose. Come to standing on the knees, knees about six to eight inches apart. For this first variation, come to standing on the toes. Reach back with the right hand and left hand to grab each heel one at a time and drop your head back slightly. This is a modification into Ustrasana with the raised feet. It's great for opening up the chest. And to come up, bring the left arm to the right shoulder and then slowly come back up with control. Now drop the feet coming into the full expression of the posture. Take your time with this. Reach back with the right hand to grab the right heel left hand to grab the left heel and drop your head back. Think about extending through the spine here and not so much dumping into the lower back. You can tense the glutes here. And when you're finished with this pose, bring the left hand to the right shoulder and the right hand to the left to come back up easily and then sit back down on the heels. Now coming into Bhujangasana, Cobra Pose. Come to face down on the mat and bring the thumbs just below the breast line. Bring the heels together and then bring the elbows together. Exhale everything out of the belly and inhale, lift. Try to activate as many of your lower back muscles as you can through here. Stay in this position for 10 breaths Slowly release. Now coming into Dhanurasana, bow pose. Bend both the lower legs in, reach around with the right hand to grab the right ankle, left hand to grab the left ankle. Exhale completely, inhale, lift. This is an extremely effective back bending asana allows the strength of the legs to open up the chest, opening up the spine, releasing any pent up stress, any pent up emotions, really doing great for all kinds of spinal mobility. And when you're finished, release the legs back down and come back into resting. Now coming into Setu Bandhasana, bridge pose. Flip onto your back and measure the distance between your heels to your middle finger. Inhale, lift the hips, so the hips are in a 45 degree line with the knees and with the shoulders. You can take the arm variation here of interlocking the hands underneath the glutes. This isn't required, but it adds a little bit extra into the back bend. When you're finished, unlock the hands, drop the hips, and extend the right foot and the left foot out. These postures are best done in the morning and on an empty stomach. So to recap, we did Ardha Chakrasana, standing half wheel, done for 10 full cycles. Then we went on to Ashtrasana, camel pose, held for 10 breaths. 
Bhujangasana, Cobra, held for 10 breaths. Dhanurasana, Bow Pose, held for 5 to 9 breaths. And then finishing up with Setu Bandhasana, Bridge Pose, held for 10 breaths. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you enjoy your practice and enjoy your health. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to Man Matters to get expert advice on your health and wellness.